What you're looking at is a 1959. Nineteen fifty nine heat kit. Down to the bottom and you know it But actually it is a it has the Ramsey FM transmitter in it that I put in there, circuit board, uh and a Ramsey receiver and wired everything up to here like this is the microphone. Everything's wired up to its original controls. Here's the volume on it. And here's the tuner. Well, the younger man working wrenching a lot, you know, on cars. You know, I now the tuner those, so I was no is a tools, 10K you know, pot. But in order to fine tune this radio, I used a, a multi tune turn really 10K pot. So it turns, you know, about a hundred times more than a regular 10k pot would. Um, this is a transmit lock as is just as they used them back in 59 and there's a receive position a little static now. The receiver runs on a 9 volt battery and the transmitter runs off a uh, power supply, which I don't have hooked up to it right now. But what I did is I took, I got it out the original tube radio in 1959 and uh, made a circuit board for a transmitter and receiver and wired it into it. You see the power light come on here when I turn the radio on and off. And also when when it's hooked up and yeah, I lost the station. Anyway, I'll have to keep turning it. The band's pretty dead right now. But the um, this is a, this is a uh, transmit uh, transmit crystal selector. This transmits on six five two zero one forty six five two zero, and when it's hooked up to the power supply, when you tr hit the transmit button, the output light comes on. So it's actually just like a just like it would work back when it was uh, a nineteen fifty nine AM transceiver. But I wired everything up to make it a FM transceiver. Probably should have done this when there, when there was more people on the band, but also it's sitting on its side because I got low light. Might be able to pick something up. Here's the back end of it. I'll turn it on its side. I don't know if you can see this or not. The, the, these wires here is where you connect your uh, power supply for the transmitter, and this is for the antenna, whatever antenna you might want to use. This antenna here is just for the receiver only. And there's a place here on the side for the license. Be a little Bravo 8 Tango Papa Tango. There it is, sitting straight up. I don't know if it's. We didn't show you anything. Right, put it back on the side, give you better lighting. Well, you heard something on there earlier, so you know it works. Probably should have done this like when they had a um, a net set up or something. There it is, a home brewed. It's also featured in this magazine here called Home Brew. I don't know if you can see this or not. 
Uh, little article I wrote on it, Benton Harbor Revisited. Tells you how the radio is put together. I've got a crystal for it also, that two crystals that will put it on a repeater band, a uh, repeater frequency, and makes it a lot easier and a lot better to tune in and hear. Some kind of data there. There you go. We used to take them go karts over there, buddy, on the weekend, boy, and just, Lord, tear them up. We'd get our cars back there and clock them. I remember one time I had a, uh, a, a go kart set up. I made this in 90. And I clocked it at 90. Ramsey transmitter, Ramsey receiver, I didn't want no more all wired that into that. the regular, the normal um, controls. So, there you go. Kilo Bravo 8 Tango Papa Tango. Thank you for watching.